Hey guys, what's up? It's Dusty here, back with another crypto video. And today we're going to give away $50 worth of crypto if this video can hit 399 likes within 24 hours. I really think that is doable for you guys, but we'll see. All you have to do is press the like button on this video, put something in the comment section down below, and have the notification bell on. I also want at least 200 comments. So let's see if we can hit that and we'll give it away then. $50 worth of crypto on the line. Now guys, whenever I'm talking about XRP, I keep telling you guys that XRP is really in the shadow of Bitcoin. And actually being in the shadow here is definitely not a bad thing, as the ROI of Bitcoin is one of the highest ROIs ever seen on something. So, with Bitcoin, what I find so completely insane to view is how greatly it has grown over time, but also how greatly it can lead in these markets. And what happens when BTC leads these runs is that some of the coins actually decide to follow them, and specifically, XRP follows BTC like a mirror. They follow each other like, like just yin and yang. They're so connected to each other, it is quite crazy. Some people try to say that Ripple XRP might get decoupled after a certain amount of time, they most likely will, but for right now, they are so reliant on BTC gains that it's just completely insane. And what I'm trying to say with being in the shadow is that once BTC goes up, XRP goes up. Once BTC goes down, XRP goes down, but then a little bit more in the shadow. So they follow along, they trail along after BTC. They do a little bit less, you know, they're a little bit less bright since they're in the shadow with the gains. But they are there, and at one point, you know, the shadow might turn on you, they might actually, you know, go away once the, the, the sun sets, and at one point, XRP might really just stay away from BTC and become their own person instead of just always being a shadow. We will definitely see that quite soon, guys, once these gains are really, really... Uh, getting in there, and also, with, from a historical perspective, we've always seen it happen that... There's one big amount of time of, of XRP being in the shadow of Bitcoin by going down on the XRP to BTC pair, but then at one point it switches over, and to our analysis, that should be in a couple of days here, but then it switches over and just goes berserk on the XRP to BTC pair, meaning that XRP gains relatively more than Bitcoin does, meaning that, of course, those gains versus BTC, and we can do that quickly here uh, with a layout change, and quickly see that, on the 1 hour and 24 hour and even 7 day probably, versus BTC are going to be insane. So not just talking about the 1 hour and 24 hour in terms of dollars, like we can see right here, but these two right here, the gains in terms of BTC are going to be tremendous, which means that XRP gains relatively more than BTC does. And they're also saying here that the bullish run is likely to happen very soon. Well, if we again see it from a perspective of 3 years, of course, there was a big run in 2017. Yes, there was. Yes, there was. Yes, there was. Then there was a very long period of downfall, all the way from December or January of 2018, actually, possibly, all the way down to December 2018, from which it actually started to go up piece by piece. And I'm definitely convinced that the bull run has already started, though we can kind of wait for confirmation when uh, some coins like Bitcoin and XRP go to all-time high to say that the bull run is really there, because right now it feels like we're still in a, a neutral market, even though that's not really something. Like a, a ranging, a trending market, you know, not really doing much, just going sideways, a sideways market. But even though it may look like it, we're actually still quite very much in an uptrend. Um, but what that kind of signals to us is that there are a lot of bigger gains to come here. And actually, if you see it or put it into perspective, we have gotten some crazy amount of day gains in the only last eight days. And if we look at the previous run, it only took 18 days for BTC to go from 10 to 20,000. And here, we're still within that 18-day period. It could also be that it doubled, you know, let's say 36 days. But if that goes from 10 to 20,000 in 36 days, I'm happy. You know, I'm completely satisfied. I'm, I'm completely fine with that. So whenever you're talking about you know, leaving this coin alone, go crying in a corner. Guys, just wait. Have a little bit of patience. Keep stacking up more coins while you can because, to me, it's all worth it, guys. But, again, don't forget, this is not financial advice. Everything said here is purely for entertainment purposes only, and uh, all opinions are my opinions. Tone Vase reiterates his doubts about Ripple's XRP, says Bitcoin price is coming down. Influential YouTube content creator and popular derivative cryptocurrency trader Tone Vase has raised his doubts about Ripple's XRP and the impossibility of the digital currency surviving its perceived predicament. The cryptocurrency analyst who once called Ripple XRP a useless penny stock averred that XRP is useless to Ripple Inc., the firm that created the digital currency. That's uh, wrong, right? 
Ripple Inc. did not create XRP, they just managed a very big amount of it. In his conversation with Laya Halpern on Black's live TV, said the problem now in now is Ripple's XRP, which he said allowed Ripple Inc. to make a lot of money from thin air, despite the token being useless to Ripple's ecosystem. Vase says Ripple can move the XRP anyhow they like, adding that the fact that Ripple has partnered with MoneyGram does not insinuate, uh, insinuate that XRP is not a security. He said that the silent Ripple community will not realize that Ripple Inc. will find a way to separate themselves from the XRP token because it does not make any sense. Huh, that's uh, that's some FUD right there. We've definitely seen some FUD over the years as well with Vase. Um, um, there's a lot of trendy stuff that he posts out and... A lot of it is getting a lot of attention as well. I mean, he does his thing. He's against it. Well, can you blame him? Some people are against a cryptocurrency. Some people are pro-currency. Does it really matter, guys? The only bad thing here is that he's really fudding a coin that you like. But what can you do about it? You can try to convince him, but he'll probably not care. You can try to be angry with him. He'll probably not care. The only thing you're doing is making it more popular, meaning that more people might turn against your coin. They might see the light, according to Vase. And I think you should just leave these types of things alone. If they do not agree with you, fine. All right, you can try to get an explanation for them in the, the easiest sense. But he just says it does not make any sense for XRP to exist. It is completely useless is kind of what I'm, I'm getting from his words. But, you know, anybody their own opinion, I don't really care too much if he says that, right? We still believe in this coin. We're still holding this coin. And I'm completely happy doing so. Goldman Sachs says, could absolutely play a role in crypto disruption, CEO says. So the Goldman Sachs CEO, David Solomon, claims the bank could absolutely play a role in cryptocurrency disruption and hinted it might be interested in issuing a digital asset similar to JPM coin in the future. And there are many financial institutions looking into possible uses of digital assets. Solomon said in an interview with the French news outlet Les, Les Echoes. Yeah, there's a little bit more about that, but... Um, they are looking into it. They're looking at what they can do and a stable digital asset based on a basket of real currencies that can move money across borders and without friction could definitely be interesting to them, right? There's more talks. There's all their other things in here as well. Some other articles and whatever. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But that is the most important point in this article that they're looking into it. And Goldman Sachs could definitely make a very big dent in the cryptocurrency space right now. Not even a negative sense, but they could definitely break something because a lot of people will go berserk because of something like this. Moving forward, though, Netflix next currency documentary, cryptocurrency documentary, is all about altcoins. This could actually be something really cool for XRP. We don't know yet, but it could. What they're saying here is that they, you know they, their previous years backing on Bitcoin documentary that they did actually did pretty well, and now they're trying to put some emphasis on the growing cryptocurrency industry, and they're actually trying to really focus on some of the altcoins like Tron CEO Justin Sun, uh, Vitalik Buterin. Da Hongfei, Charles Hoskinson to mention a few, and most likely, I think XRP will also uh, be a subject of this documentary because, of course, it is the third crypto in the realm. There will most likely be some talks about ICOs as well and a lot about some really, really strange altcoins, most likely. Talking about how cryptos have grown, maybe about JPM coin, liberal cryptocurrency. A lot of different things could be be talked about in uh, this this Netflix series, but I'm definitely excited to see what they have to bring because they can go so many different ways with a a documentary like this. It could be a full on shill. It could be a full on objective um, talk. It could be a subjective thing where where they ask people's opinions about cryptocurrencies. They ask different analysts what they think. There could be so many different ways they can go. Uh, they could just be looking at historical facts about stagnation of the crypto market and just the the bloom that we're seeing right now. Tons of things to come. I'm excited. We'll be seeing what they have to bring for us, but it's definitely going to be quite cool. Rumors of a possible altcoin sequel began servicing early in 2019, with the company wanting to shine light on a crypto space beyond only Bitcoin, and details about the project remain scanty with Netflix reportedly keeping a tight lid on the production. So, I don't completely know if this is confirmed, but I think so, all right? I I'm definitely thinking something like this is coming. It does sound quite logical for Netflix to do such a thing, because... I must think so that the, the Bitcoin series was quite a hit and a Netflix series about altcoins will most likely be another major hit and will also actually draw a lot of newbies, you know, crypto newbies to the light of cryptocurrencies. Bull Run 2.0, this time it is different. I keep telling you guys that, that this time the run is so freaking different, all right? We are often comparing the, the 18 days of the previous run to this one, but 
I still think that that's not a fair thing to do. I still think there's so many differences right now between this run and that run. And you might be asking me, oh, what is that? Well, right now there's so much more um, knowledge about cryptocurrencies. A lot more people are not so much speculating, but they're really hoping for certain things to happen. They're investing in coins more so because of value, not because of FOMO and because of some weird speculations or weird hypey, hypey things like just hype in general and hypey partnerships. Um, there's also a lot more insecurity because we saw how the Bitcoin and, and whatever coins dropped so hard last year. A lot more people are skeptical with crypto. A lot more people are saying that the bubble was once again rising, but not so much just the bubble since a lot more people are also having more faith in crypto because they saw Bitcoin go to 20K last year. It's not so much a bubble if it really sustains gains, right? A lot of, of different things are now playing a factor in the gains. And I do think another factor to this is that we're really building up slowly right now. Um, in comparison to what we saw last year, where it was just, again, 18 days where we went from 10K to 20K. Right now, it could be a different story where we're just building up momentum, surely but uh, slowly but surely, with, you know, let's say 1,000 gains every week or things like that. It could be very much different than we saw last year. We just don't know yet what we're going to be seeing. There's a lot of other cryptocurrency YouTubers and cryptocurrency analysts and whatever that are doing some crazy predictions for Bitcoin for the end of the year, though. But I'm mostly wondering what you guys think about that situation. Do you think these cryptocurrencies are going to be blooming? Do you think they are going to be dying? Let me know in the comments section down below, and I'll see you guys again in another crypto video. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and hopefully you learned something new. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you again in another crypto video. Take care, everybody.